Are you aware that most of the cars they use here in Europe are electric cars? Are you aware? Are you also aware that so many countries are now using electric cars? So many countries are now going into solar. They feel that carbon monoxide is polluting the air and causing cancer. Now, so many countries are removing any engine control cars because so many countries believe that fuel consumption engines bring air pollution. Now, they are trying to remove any fuel engines. They are bringing out solar systems and electric cars to control air pollution due to carbon monoxide. Now, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that a time will come, all this fuel that our government are using to make mark, all this petroleum, all this uh, petroleum they are using to make mark, all this oil they, they, they are using to make noise, a time will come, all these things will decline in value. A time will come, all this oil Nigerian government are using to make mark will fed. What will be the fate of Nigeria when countries start using solar and electric cars? What will be our fate? Let me bust your mind. 90% of the things we use in Nigeria are imported, my dear. That's why when um, exchange rate increase, it affects us because we don't produce things on our own. We don't depend on the things we produce. We always import. That's why whenever dollar is high, it will affect us. Whenever dollar decreases in value, we start crying. Why? Dollar is not our currency. Then why is it affecting us? It's because we always import the things we use. We don't produce. Nigeria needs to be industrialized. We have all it takes. We have people who are ready to manufacture. We have people who are ready to produce. We have people who are ready to innovate, but the government are not supporting productivity. Look at Enosin. Enosin said that he needs support to install robotic manufacturing plant so that he can able to produce more cars daily. But Nigerian government are not supporting him because they have their eyes fixated on oil and because Enosin is an Igbo man. Look at Abba. Look at Abba. Abba shoes are rated the best shoes in Africa as a whole. But when Abba produces a shoe and writes it made in Abba, no one in Nigeria will buy it. They will call it inferior shoes. But when Abba produces the same shoe and writes it made in Italy, people will buy it. Why? Because we don't appreciate our own local production. That's why we are not productive. You cannot be productive if you are not appreciating your local productions. You can't encourage people to be productive if you are not appreciating their products. Check federal government fleet of official cars. You will never see innocent products there. You cannot. How do you encourage local production when the government itself don't appreciate or patronize local production? Our government all put their eyes, their hope on oil. Now, when oil declines in patronage, maybe all countries now start using electric and uh, solar system. What will be our fate? What are we producing? What are we manufacturing? Hmm? What? Look at ordinary toothpick. We are importing toothpick. That's why if dollar increase, we keep saying, ah, hardship, why? Is dollar our currency? No, dollar is not our currency. It's because most of the things we use in Nigeria are imported. So whenever there is high in exchange rate, it will affect us. What I'm saying is that it is high time the federal government will start removing their eyes from oil and start working on establishing other productive things, other things that we can delve into that we will start yielding money apart from oil so that when oil declines we know what we can hold on what are the things we are producing what are we doing they need to delve into other productions productivity increase country's economy 
when a country is productive, their values increase. When a country is productive, their economy increase. Oh yes. So if Nigerian government must do it right, they must learn how to delve into productivity, production. Let them remove their eyes on oil and start thinking of other ways Nigeria can start making money without oil. All this oil, all this petroleum Nigerians are using to make mark. The time will come, those things will go. What will be the fate of Nigeria if they stop patronizing oil? What else can we produce? What have the government put in place to substitute the production of oil? What? That should be the question. What happens if companies or countries stop patronizing Nigerian oil? What will be our fate? What can we do? What other production can we delve into?